Hello everyone, this is Klausius and I'm back with another StarCraft tutorial video for beginners. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, build order and expanding and medevac. And we're going to introduce the medevac unit. So let's go ahead and load up the game. So a build order, there's many, many, many build orders out there. And a lot of players recommend having one build order or at least one build order per matchup. So for example, if you're Terran, then Terran versus Protoss build order, Terran versus Zerg build order, or Terran versus Terran build order. Um, eventually you wanna work your way up to that. But for now, I would say just learn one build order at a time and just take it from there. Uh, now, there are many build orders that you can search online uh, and I think there's a lot of good ones. I think a very simple one is the uh, 211, where two barracks, one factory, one starport. You can look that up if you want. Um, but today's build order is pretty much going to be a very basic one, just utilizing what we know. So it's not like it's a top build order that'll work at the high levels. It's just a beginner build, a basic build order to utilize what we know. Uh, so first we're going to start building uh, the supply as per usual. And this one actually can expand into other build orders in the future. But this is going to be a uh, one racks fast expand. Um, what that means is we're going to build one barracks and expand. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. Additional supply depot. All right, so we're going to get our barracks here and hockey that. And then when this one's done, I'm going to shift to a mineral patch back to right there, just to in case he picks up a mineral in time. Uh, build a refinery. I want to do that as soon as the barracks goes down. And that's pretty much the first few steps. Now, we're actually going to hold off on building that second supply until after we get this command center down. Uh, simply because we want to save up our minerals for that command center. We'll need gas because we'll be using that pretty quickly. And this will be the last SCV we build. And then the barracks are finished, so we can immediately make an orbital and normally a lot of uh, openers use reapers but we haven't learned about that yet so what we're going to do is actually make a reactor instead of a reaper so we're going to utilize our 50 gas for that and that'll let us produce two marines at a time and now once we have 400 minerals you can see it actually syncs up very nicely um we're gonna go ahead and get that and now that we have that we can go ahead and get that second supply and then that all right, and that's pretty much that fast expand. Uh, now for a couple notes on what to do from here, I would recommend uh, as soon as you get your Marines out, uh, getting a bunker. So what that is, is you just, it's a basic building, you build and then it's you. And putting that at your expansion bridge, uh, or if it's a large area, put it like right in front of your command center about this distance. So that way they can't just simply run around and go attack your SCV line. But this will actually house your Marines and put your Marines on here. Uh, so that way they can protect your expansion because you will get some pressure and you will be a little bit behind in the army uh, since you expanded instead of building units. All right, so now we're gonna, going to go ahead and make another uh, refinery and now we're going to instead of making more barracks we're going to jump into the factory okay and the Marines can actually go in there and a cool trick is if this is getting damaged your SCVs can actually be pulled and then just repair uh, with the repair hotkey which is R and click on the thing and I can actually repair uh, while it is actually doing the thing so here uh, if, I ha if you have extra minerals, you can do a second barracks. But as soon as this is finished, we're going to immediately make a starport. I'll need to turn that to an orbital. Alright, SCVs and Marines. And... Doot, 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 doot. Uh, we pretty much did the basic build order, which was the fast expand, uh, get the bunker, supply, and factory. Alright, but now that we have a factory, I'm going to... Get back here, SCV. I don't want you to go there. Yet. I'm going to put... A reactor on the factory but I'm not going to use it on the factory I'm going to do a little search room so what I'm going to do is actually build a starport a uh, starport right here we're not going to actually utilize anything from the factory just yet but you can't build the starport until you build the factory so that's all the factory is used for in this video 
All right, just in case there is air pressure, I am going to put a couple of Marines to patrol. And on the second barracks, I'm actually going to put a tech lab so I can start researching stone, and then I'm going to build a third barracks. So this will kind of be uh, three barracks, uh, one factory, one starport opening. All right, this is there. Lift, land, lift, land. So our a lot of Terran buildings can actually lift. So all that is is the L key. You can lift it up, and then you can actually share these little add-ons. All right, so now that i got a reactor on the starport, I'm going to make two medevacs. Now, medevacs are very great. It's a very great unit. Uh, so your Marines, when they still, uh, they actually take a little bit of damage. They take, uh, I think, 10% or 10, oh, 10 damage. Uh, they actually take 10 damage in order to buff them up. Well, the medevacs will heal that damage, so that way you can still in more than just one engagement or two engagements. Uh, that medevacs will actually heal the unit while you're fighting, so it's really, really useful. All right, and I usually prefer about four marines patrolling since I don't have any other defense. All right, and now that is pretty much our thing. And I'm just gonna put react on that, research stem, and don't get supply blocks like I'm getting right now. All right, and we're not gonna do anything with the factory. All right, but uh, that's pretty much what you want to focus on is getting to that 311 after you get that expansion. Have this bunker for defense in case there's any pressure. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this was against medium, so I wasn't really worried about getting the timings perfectly or uh, down perfectly. All right, I do have stuff coming out, so what I'm going to do is unload that. Put them all in one little medevac and go start harassing. Uh, all right, so this is important actually. So there are two types of uh, fights that you, or there's three types of fights. Uh, one is attacking, the second is defending, or I guess I should say engagement, sorry. There are three types of engagements. One is attacking, one is defending, and the third is harassing. So what I'm going to do with this medevac is something actually that is going to be quite difficult for beginners, but it's going to be so powerful at like the bronze and silver level, and that is harassing. So the first harassment uh, I like to do is send it to, so the we know their spawns over there because in the first few seconds of the game you can see a little icon that shows where the spawn is. So I'm going to actually send it right uh, right to the edge, where, not where they can see it, but like right over here, and then try to sneak it in and drop units back there. Uh, so it's not my main army, but it is a little bit of a drop. Mineral field depleted. And that will be my harassment. And then the with harassing, you can actually get a lot of information. You can see what units they're building. You can see what uh, tech they have. Uh, so with harassing on the outer edges of the maps, you can actually see how many expansions they have. Um, so now once my medevac's here, I'm going to use the boost, which speeds it up. Boost, and just right click towards that mineral patch. You just want to get right over there. All right. And if you see a turret, then just do it at the edge of the turret. Just don't run into the turret. Um, and just drop it in. Alright, still. Alright, and if you see an army, then immediately... Oh, crap. Repair! Oh, I didn't repair fast enough. Alright, go attack. And that is why we need APM. Oh, don't get shot, don't get shot. That was a mistake on my part, losing it. Alright, so I just had a, a double engagement and I did it a lot faster than I should have because it caught me by surprise. Uh, so let's explain what I just did. Um, Alright, just get out of here. No, don't die! I have like 1 HP left, or 3 HP left. <laughs> don't die. Alright, let's go double bucket. Okay, so what I did, I had the drop and then I heard... Uh, and saw on my mini map that they were attacking. So immediately orders? I wanted to try and get my SCVs to repair, but I didn't do it fast enough because it caught me by surprise. Um, and that, that's fine, it happens. So immediately I started making more units to send for defense. I saw that his army was bigger than my army, so I pulled some SCVs to go attack just to give that extra buffer. Not all of them, but I pulled some of them that I thought was enough. If their army was even bigger, I would have pulled more. But I pulled some to help because my armor was smaller. 
and I knew it was gonna lose. So I immediately pulled enough SCVs, and I saw that more Marines were coming, and once I knew that my defense was good and that it was handled, then I jumped back to this and started worrying about if these guys were gonna die or not. So defense is more important than your harassment. So if they're attacking you, it, drop everything on that harassment, just forget it, let it die, who cares? Go defend your base. It's very important to defend. All right, once you defend and everything's good, then you wanna get back to the harassment and get it out of there, make sure it doesn't die. You can do as much damage as you can, but you don't want your harassment to die. So I'm actually gonna go change that out because that actually was really damaged. Um, so you do not want your harassment to die if you can help it. But if you're being attacked, that defense uh, is much more important than the harassment you, you, uh, group. You can always make another harassment group. Um, Alright, so that's kind of what I did, and I did it a little fast because I was not expecting them to attack at that timing. Uh, but I was running really late. Alright, so I'm actually going to take these, repair, and then shift click back when they're done. So I'm going to repair that medevac. Medevacs can be repaired. Uh, oh, this one's also damaged. Now so, what? hey guys, repair that and go back. Uh, you want to get your medevacs repaired if you can. Alright, so that's pretty much what we are going to focus on is, uh, for this lesson is learning how to use the medevacs, learning how to drop, and getting that expansion build order timing. Alright, so I could send it in and it would probably work. But around this timing, it's like 11 minutes in, you would start wanting to check for a third. So what you could do is fill up another one. Like this. Why is this one damaged too? Oh my gosh. Uh, what you could do is fill up another one. And then send this one to like here and then check for a third here or here. Uh, and if you ever notice your units like following after them, just select them and right click them back. They're just trying to get loaded up. Alright, so I'm going to dump that. All right, and usually for harassment, I like to put it on separate hockey. So I actually have, oh, I want that one to be by itself. I actually have a harassment unit on two right here. Oh, hello. Okay. And then I'll put this one on like three. Uh, usually for beginners, I don't recommend more than one harassment unit because it's a lot to keep up with. Uh, once you get comfortable with it, you can start adding on a second harassment unit. But don't, uh, if you don't feel comfortable with having a ma using your main army and building and harassing at the same time don't worry about the second harassment that's way too much to do at the start this is only if you have the apm for it and you're comfortable doing it all right you can see like i'm not building stuff that's a huge mistake uh he doesn't have a third so i'm gonna go check go around the little circle um you want to be building stuff and expanding and doing your build order while you're harassing Oh, hello. Oh, back up, back up. There is a tank. You do not want to be in that tank zone. We can talk more about engagements um, in another video. But all I'm doing is stimming and attacking. Stimming and attacking. I did micro a little bit there, mostly because I haven't been building. I've been talking. Um, okay, so you do see there's an expansion here, so just go ahead and drop. Oh, I waited too long and he saw me. Alright, don't die, don't die. I'll go behind the rocks. Alright, and then I can take this other harassment unit. Hey, let's go inside. Oh, he's going battle cruisers. Drop. You. See if his armor's gone. His army is gone. Dump. Build. There we go. Alright, you guys. We're good. Oh, there's the army. And run away. Run away! Don't die! Just do as much damage as you can and... Oh. And don't get supply blocked. Alright, and that's pretty much uh, how harassing works. Now, once you're in a good position, you see that your army's better than their, bigger than theirs. Um, you can actually just go for a straight up attack. So I'll add this one to my main army. And I'll actually time a harassment with my main attack. Additional supply depots required. Mineral field depleted. 
Um, and with that little supply thing, all I'm doing is hit build, supply, shift, click, 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 and then right click back a mineral patch. That's all I'm doing for that, if you're wondering. Okay, let's add that to one. Actually, let's go from this side, because his army's probably right here. Um, and if you don't know, you can always stem one unit. And I shift up, I shifted his path, uh, shift clicked it, his path, just so that way I can do other stuff. Yep, his armor's right there. Scan. Alright. So let's actually do this. And don't forget to build stuff. There, there, check the supply. Supply is good. And let's go attack. Harass! Understood. Alright, kill that. Alright, you killed his expansion. Check the army size. Let's back up a bit because his army is about the same size. I don't really want an even engagement because I'm already winning because of the expansion thing. Alright. Yeah, let's get away from that tank. Alright, there's no tank, we're good. Uh, get there. Alright, there are mines. We haven't learned about the mines yet, but if they go down, we have to scan. Yep. Scan, scan. We'll learn about that in a later video. For now, it's okay. And these guys are still in here just doing all kinds of damage. Alright, let's get our army. Uh, Run away! Run away! I want to keep that alive. Hello! Go Alright, so... Uh, this one was not really much about the timing. It was more about what to do. Uh, let's go around. So hopefully... That made sense. You remember, you can always ask questions in the comments below. And in the next game, we're going to actually try and do this at an accurate timing. But you can see it's very, very powerful. Oh, there we go. Dump. Scan, scan. Oh, no army. Go attack. Oh, hello. Oh, what? what is that doing there? You go to take out. Oh. Just medevac some marines, medevac some marines. Life flights here. Make stuff, make stuff, check supply. Supply is not good, so. Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and do everything I just explained, uh, which was the expand build order uh, and get some medevacs and then start harassing and attacking. Uh, your first harassment should probably be in the back. Your second one should likely be checking for the expansions. And when you attack, you want to have a harassment go in around the same time as an attack, if you can. If they have turrets up, then just try to find a different angle or maybe check their expansions. Uh, or just try to do some type of double attack because a lot, a lot of beginners will really struggle with dealing with two things at once. Um, so if you can get that down, it's really, really helpful. Um, performance... Yeah, way too much supply cap, so it was very, very bad. A lot of bad minerals. APM was okay. Alright, so let's go up to hard and see if we can do this on hard. <coughs> I do that every time. Why do I try to drink the water or breathe the water? I'm not a fish. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> now, I do recommend practicing this build a good five to ten times. 
um, until you get the build order down to where you can do it pretty consistently. <coughs> All build orders you want to be able to get to uh, a point where you don't even have to really think about it. Uh, the tricky part is remembering your build order when you have multiple build orders in your brain. But as long as they all have like their own pathways, it kind of makes sense and things kind of branch off in certain directions. And as long as you have an idea of what you want to do, <coughs> then uh, it should be. Oh man, sorry, I'm still trying to learn to breathe again. Learn to breathe air instead of water. Uh, it should be okay to uh, remember the build orders once you get it down. But that's, yeah, it takes a lot of practice to get the build orders down to a very, very efficient timing. Like, I've done this sort of opening pattern right here probably hundreds of times uh, with all the times of different build orders, different games. Yay, and... Oh, crap. I am not making a Reaper. I started to do that automatically. Usually it's a Reaper, but because we haven't learned that yet, we're only doing Marines. Alright, and we'll get our expansion at 143. Which I think is pretty good timing. Alright, immediately can go for that second supply and second gas. Not enough minerals. Uh, Not enough should have gotten the SCV before the gas. See, even I'm not perfect. <laughs> My own build for beginners, and I'm already screwing it up. Alright, let's get some Marines, one SCV, and let's go make that bunker for defense. Turn the Marines, and get 100. Not enough minerals. And put that around the fence. Right. All right, next up will be the factory. All right, Marines. And it's got a fight between SCVs and Marines right now. Ah. All right, I've got four Marines down there. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Get that. And get a couple of marines patrolling in case of uh, air or drop. And all I did was hit shift and then P. So P for patrol. I don't know what the hockey is on your setup. And I'll get four marines patrolling. Okay, command C. Starport. Command center upgrade. Not enough minerals. Right. And that. And patrol. Alright, and the rest is gonna go up front for defense. Okay, uh, now I have some more minerals. Also, am needing my supply, because remember, supply is important. And build two more barracks. Get the supply. SCVs. And notice I can't even like stack them up in twos um, until now because I've just had such um, heavy build. Lift off, land over there. Just to give a drop something to run around. And get back on there, SCV, and then medevacs. Alright, and I think we are doing pretty good. SCV, marines. Up some more, and then SCV once these ready. finish, I'm gonna put additional supply depots. Ah! <laughs> what a noob! Let's do three. Um, I'm gonna actually hit X and lose a mule, which is huge, to give me some supply, simply because I really need it. All right, one tech lab, one reactor, SCVs, more marines. All right. And let's load up one medevac, put the rest back in there. Alright. The and go for a drop at five and minutes. Alright, get the stem as soon as you can. 
base is under Oh control. no! Horrible timing! Horrible timing! Oh. Come back up! No, dub! <laughs> you popped out at the worst time! Alright, if this happens, lift the command center, can't do nothing about it. And raise that. Bring these guys over here. Alright. He did damage to me, so I'm gonna do damage to him real quick. Keep building stuff. Alright, here you want to take out the queen first. Uh, if you can. Because the queen's the only thing that can shoot air. Uh, but since he had roaches, I ran away. Uh, so he definitely did better than I did. Alright, I'm gonna go get rid of these. Ah, uh, but the timing of that. Oh man, get my bunker back. So you can see, not everything goes according to plan all the time, but uh, it is manageable if you have the stuff for it. All right, I have to reset everything, get back on track, make my stuff. Not that. Oh, oh, actually, switching between buildings. I'm doing that with tab. And that's why they're on the same building. Um, sorry, I've about not pointed that before. But that is how I did that. There is a, a hotkey for switching between stuff. Additional supply depots. Uh, I knew that was coming up. Right. Stem is almost done. Additional supply and not enough, not enough energy. energy. So we're gonna make some engineering bays and start our upgrades. Probably want to do this a little bit sooner, but because we got attacked. Kind of messed me up. All right, I'm gonna put those on the command center and just hit tab. And next upgrade I'm gonna get is Marines gain 10 life. Very useful. All right. Where's the emergency? Let's go check for a third. And I'm still building stuff even while I'm looking around. On my way. Let's go. Your army here. Well, hallelujah. I heard ready for All right, there is no third. We'll do, command. So let's go back up here. Shift, shift. Put them back in the back. E A. All right. Now let's get our third command center going and start our attack. And I want all the marines. So come on, guys. Additional supply depots. Oh, I'm making. A lot of supply depot mistakes. Roger. Been by the numbers, boy. Ready. Additional supply depot. Hello. Oh, this is a changeling. If you cannot select it, it's a changeling. Just kill it. Been on. Additional supply depots required. Got four. All right. Make. Research. All right, we're twenty, okay. so we're gonna make three more. Gotcha. So I don't get supply blocked while I'm attacking. Do not want to do that. Oh, hello. Oh. Go drop. Go drop. Kill it. Go in here. Oh, don't go in there. Things are attacking. All right. Ah! Click them. Build stuff, build stuff, build stuff. Check supply. Probably want like two more. Get your army. Ah, I lost. Okay. Let's get out of there. Alright, I have a lot of money, which is not good. So one, two, three, four. Make some more. All right, and I'm about to actually get one one. Ready. Get that. You guys go up here. Go, go, go. One more. SCB ready. Been waiting on you. All right. Got so it. let's send this guy in. Talk to me. On my way. Dump here and get our distraction going. Okay. 
Command center upgrade complete. Distract him for a second. We could use some help here. And now let's go. Now his army should be out of position. Yep. See? His army went to deal with that, and we got a nice distraction going. Alright. Put a bunch of reactors on those. SCV. Supply depot. I can do one more supply depot because the cap is 200. Alright, and that is 146 supply at like 11 minutes. That's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna do something funny. Not the smartest idea, but really clever. Dump it right on the mineral line. And still. Just, just, uh, be cruel and rub it in. Alright. So that is it for our first basic build order and learning about the medevac unit. So hopefully you guys found the medevac unit uh, helpful. I think it'll be very, very powerful when you learn how to use it, but it will be very difficult to use and combine it and everything. So uh, I think take a lot of time to practice the stuff you learned in this video. Uh, it takes several games to practice. It will be very important, very powerful, but also very difficult to do. Uh, while not getting supply blocks and keeping your money low, which I did horribly this game. Um, but yeah, making marines, medevacs, uh, harassing, having that expansion going and defending the expansion, um, which is going to be very important. So, purpose of the expansion gives us a lot more workers, which in turn gives us a lot more money to spend, which in turn gives us a bigger army because we get to spend it on the army. So, uh, type supply capped, way too high. Uh, average instrument resources, we want that to be under 500 if we can. Um, I usually, um, and then time supply capped, we want that to be under 30. So, I, you can see I, I screwed that up, so I need to keep practicing this as well. Workers created 75, I think that's pretty darn good because he only had 56, and um, our average was 50 um, for this time, uh, for the last few games. APM, you want it to be 40 to 60, and the more you harass and the more you're doing this stuff, you'll actually start uh, creeping your way up to like 80s and 90s, I think, the more you practice this. So if you get to 80s and 90s and even 100, then you are getting pretty comfortable with that harassing, moving, and still building at the same time. So hopefully um, you'll see that the more stuff you do, the more APM will naturally go up. So that should be a good reflection of how much you're capable of doing, but don't worry about spamming or anything. Um, as long, if you're above 100, you're doing great. Okay, that's really high. It's a lot of actions that you can do. Just make sure you're doing the right things. Um, reaction times. So you, uh, I think in this video we saw that I, I reacted to an unexpected attack twice. Um, reaction times will take just practice and experience. Um, it's more about focusing on engagements. Uh, you can get better at those by playing a lot and learning your hotkeys and also listening and seeing your minimap. Then learning how to handle the reactions. We will, uh, you want to analyze your replay, excuse me. You want to analyze your replays um, to see how the, react, how the engagement went, what units did what, what units you could have dodged, or was any? What, did you have a lot of Marines in the back that weren't shooting? Did, could you have separated them? Um, could you have pulled more SCVs? All this type of stuff, this like uh, analyzing stuff, you can do in replays. Um, you can also watch pro uh, players play and watch how they engage, watch their engagements to see how their units interact or where they place their units or what units they use um, and how they use those units. So there's a, engagements is probably one of the most complicated things to learn. Uh, so there is no like real cheat sheet for that. It's just um, study and practice and uh, improving your reaction time. There's not really much I can just, there's not really any basic pointers I can just give you just to make you magically good at that. Uh, the only things that I can do is teach you units one at a time 
and then maybe in the future analyze replays on how the engagement works or where I place my stuff and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but for now, hopefully that helps you with expanding and getting more SCVs. Uh, hopefully that helps you um, get a better army composition to with medevacs. That way you have some units to heal you. And hopefully I helped you deal a lot of confusing damage and start using tactics a bit by utilizing that harassing unit. Uh, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.